Excuse me, how does an ERV move energy from one airstream to another? Great question. Let me show you how these, how the core of the ERV works because it's critical into the success of ventilation. You'll have this core where the air flows will pass but never touch. The core is made of a, a capillary type, uh, almost a paper-like material. So heat energy moves from uh, hot to cold and it moves from high pressure to low pressure and moisture moves from wet to dry. So in this case, all three aspects of those physics pieces are at work. One airstream is hot, one airstream is cold. So hot radiates through the device. That's the radiation component of that heat transfer. And then the core itself also has uh, like a paper product. So there's a capillary component to it where water vapor will draw through a capillary pathway. It's gonna move from one airstream to the other. So this third component of this, the core actually has tiny little pores inside. I mean, we're talking about 0.06 micron pores in there. Only about three molecules are small enough to pass through there. Hydrogen molecule, there's an oxygen molecule, and a hydroxyl radical. Everything else, carbon molecules, too big to pass through. PM 2.5 is like 2,500 times the size of that pore. So what happens is that water vapor will disassemble on one side and reassemble on the other because of the hydrogen oxygen separation and now it's coming back together on the other side. So if I have a dry house, I can hold on to some of that moisture in the house. If I have a super wet outdoor, all of a sudden this device will reject a large portion of that, right? So that moisture will be rejected back out of the house. So there's a, a radiation component where it heats the core itself. There's a capillary component where the water is drawn through that paper-like material. And then there's pores where that molecular component will actually drive from the hot air stream to the cold air stream. So that's how that works.